hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share a full day of eating with you. What I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, anything else, all low carb, keto diet friendly. So let's get on and make breakfast. So I've decided what I want to do is just chop up a whole lot of broccoli and I'm going to fry up probably half of this head. The other half I'm going to chop up while I'm chopping and pop it into this dish and pop it in the fridge and I'm probably going to just roast it later but at least it's all chopped and ready to go. Because while I'm doing a task like chopping up a broccoli, I'd rather, if, I, if I just put the other half of broccoli away in the fridge it's never going to get used. So just trying to use up all my produce here. So we're going to chop up and use half of this broccoli and fry it up and get it nice and golden. So I've got half the broccoli chopped up in this dish for later, the other half here ready to get fried up for breakfast. Right, I've got heaps of butter in the frying pan. I've brought it up to a nice hot temperature and I've added all my chopped broccoli and I'm going to cook that until it's done to my liking. And while my breakfast is cooking, I'm going to get on and see to this beautiful Irish silver side corned beef over here. Um, we're going to be home this morning, so I thought I'd um, get on and cook this. So when we get, we're going to be home this morning. We're going out for a couple of um, tasks we have to do, admin, new life in Ireland. Um, and so when we get home, this will be cooked and done and ready, and we can have silver side for lunch. And I shared this recipe a little while ago for Irish corned beef and cabbage, which is amazing, and that is what I'm going to make this morning as well. Broccoli was crisping up beautifully. I moved it around to the side, filled it up with eggs, two for me, three for Harvey, and I'm just gonna let that cook until it's done. And I just wanted to show you these eggs that I got. Um, we were driving out in the countryside and we saw a little farm side shop with free range eggs. Honest, they had an honesty box. You just popped three euro fifty in and get your six fresh farm eggs, which were probably laid just the other day. So that is our beautiful Irish breakfast. Huh, I had to stand back, it's getting too steamy. Um, so that is our beautiful breakfast this morning and I will catch up with you through the day as I have something to eat. That was a lovely filling breakfast, but I just feel like my hot chocolate, I usually have it later on in the day, but I just feel like a hot chocolate to see me through the morning. So I'm making my low carb hot chocolate. I'll leave a link down below to the recipe for what I do. And these are my hot chocolates for the morning, my drama llama and Star Wars for my husband. And I'm going to get on and do homeschooling with my boys, go out and about for the morning. And then I will show you what I have for lunch. I've been spending this morning working on this blog post 7 low carb St. Patrick Day's food ideas with all kinds of yummy goodies that are low carb, keto friendly so I'll leave a link to this blog post down below so you can check it out and cook some yummy low carb keto goodies for St. Patrick's Day. And this is my beautiful lunch plate. I've got that Irish corned beef silver side. So good. Didn't make cabbage this time but just having it with heaps of spinach and some sour cream and oh, what a yummy lunch. It's low carb keto friendly and as I said I'll leave a link down below to the recipe so you can make this yummy meat yourself. And after that meaty lunch, um, I am having a late afternoon snack slash dinner. I tend to intermittent fast, eat between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. and then I fast the rest of the day. So this is what I've made. I've got a big bed of spinach, I've got a whole lot of raspberries, avocado and feta that I've cubed up. And now to turn this from just a low carb salad into a low carb high fat salad, I'm going to drench it in avocado oil. That is my my dressing of choice at the moment, but you could use um, olive oil or any dressing that you want, any salad dressing that's low carb and high fat to bring the fat content up. But that is today's full day of eating with low carb keto meals. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you leave a like, subscribe for more yummy inspirations and check the description down below for more yummy inspirations. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.